What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to multiply expressions that have different bases and have different exponents. And here we're specifically gonna cover fractional exponents, or sometimes they're called rational exponents, right? So we have three raised to the 5 thirds times two raised to the negative one third times 36 raised to the two thirds. So the goal with these is always trying to figure out a way to either get the same bases or the same exponents, okay? And in this case, we can actually find a way to get similar exponents because if you notice something, all of them have a three in the denominator, okay? So one thing we can do here is, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is turn this exponent positive just because it'll be a little easier to work with. So here we're gonna have three raised to the 5 thirds times and then in order to turn this exponent positive you have to just flip whatever number you have here or in other words just find the reciprocal so the reciprocal of two is one half right so then we can turn this positive to positive one third right and then here we still have times 36 raised to the two thirds okay now in order to simplify a fractional exponent all you really have to do is take out the numerator or factor it out. Okay, so if we do that, what are we going to be left with? We're going to be left with 3 raised to the 1 third, okay? And then what happened to the 5 that we took out? Well, we raised this whole thing to this power right here, to the fifth power, okay? And why is that helpful? Well, because whenever we have a fractional exponent, uh, so 1 half is the same thing as taking the square root of a number. Raising a number to the one-third power is the same thing as taking the cube root of that number. Raising something to the one-fourth power is the same thing as taking the fourth power, okay? So that's why breaking up the exponent like that is helpful because we'll be able to take the cube root of something and simplify it, all right? So here we have three raised to the one-third raised to the fifth power, and then we're multiplying that by this guy over here, uh, one-half raised to the one-third power, and then this guy, we can break up the same way we did this guy. So we can say times 36 raised to the one third. And then the two that we took out, we'll bring out here. Okay, now remember, we're trying to get the same exponents, right? So here we have a five, here we have a one third, and here we have a two. So we don't have the same exponents yet. But one thing we can do is actually flip the positions of the exponent that we have on the inside of the parentheses and the one that we have on the outside. So instead, we could rewrite this as three raised to the fifth power raised to the one third power, all right? And the reason we can do that is because, well, whenever you have a power raised to another power, how do you simplify it? You just multiply those together, right? But with multiplication, the order doesn't matter, right? One third times five is the same thing as five times one third, okay? And I specifically want to flip those two because as you can see, I have a third out here, right? So I have a third on the outside and then a third on the outside. So then I can do the same thing over here to get the one third on the outside. So then uh, here we're gonna have times one half raised to the one third times 36 raised to the second power raised to the one third. Okay, so now you can see we have all the same exponents on the outside, right? Now, since we do have the same exponents, all we have to do is multiply all the bases together and then raise it to this exponent once. So we can rewrite this as three raised to the fifth power times uh, this base, one half times this base, which is 36 squared. And that's all gonna be raised to the same power, one third. Okay, so then this is gonna be equal to, let's see, three to the fifth, that's equal to 243 uh, times 1 half times 36 squared, which is 1,296. And again, that's raised to the 1 third power. Now, if you multiply this all together, you're going to get, and I'll write it up here, uh, 1, 000, or, sorry, 157,464. And that's raised to the 1 third. Now, remember, taking a number and raising it to the one-third power is the exact same thing as taking the cube root of it, right? So this is the same thing as taking the cube root of 157,464. And when you plug that into your calculator, you'll get that this is equal to exactly 
54. All right, so then our answer here is just 54. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.